guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 8 of Sword Online, Alicization, War of Underworld. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, I understand, yeah, we had to show this again one more time. I'm fine with that. We just gotta see them die like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Thank you, Torrent. I don't even know if I'm not trying to watch a funny person from the room. <laughs> I'm thinking of that eight. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like there's something really stuck in my eye. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> It's just the, oh my god. It's the stupid freaking smell of onion. Holy shit. Okay, I think I'll be alright. Mm. No, because it's still going. It's still making my eyes water. But what about you? You should miss too. But she hard as fuck, just like everybody else. Huh? Holy shit, dude. That's not your blood, is it? Alright, thank God. Jesus. Why? What did you do?
yeah, there's no reason to, like, beat yourself up or even try to kill yourself. Is that seriously an over? No, it's a one. How in the world can one fucking survive? I mean, it usually happens, but seriously, come on, man. The priestess of light is what um the blind guy was talking about, right? Or was that no the the crap that was talked about in like the first half of the show? Uh, Alex, I don't have a good idea of nothing. Go lay down. No, no, no. Go lay down. Go lay down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably not going to go against him for a long time. Yeah, because the whole time he's been sitting on his ass watching. I'm just saying. No. Are you going to kill her?
Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, no, what affect her a lot because then you have to protect her, but then no way. Alice can protect herself, but still, she's gonna need somebody with her. You can't go by yourself! Mm -hmm. The possibly wake you to it. Yeah. See? But it's just to be precautious. You never know what could possibly happen. You don't need to go by yourself. That's stupid. Well, damn. Um, you serious? Girl, you serious? Like, oh, yeah. hell no. Nah. No, that is worse than the crap for Attack on Titan when they were like, yeah, we just gonna sacrifice yourself for Levi. And I was like, mm -hmm. y'all ain't got no name. Only Lena has a name. At least let Len escape. I mean, she would be fine. Even though she's like, yeah, I offer my life. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Couldn't make me happy that one. Like, I'm out. No. Please don't do anything reckless, harmless, don't kill yourself, don't be a dumbass, be smart. Yeah, she's just going back. Mm -hmm. Say, no. No. Oh. So horrible. Holy fuck. It's a good thing I don't like pork. Why does it just give me feel so much your face? Oh my god, no. No! Oh man! Look at 
fucking Sachi. Oh my god. <laughs> But she's got to try, though. Why did you come? Oh, my God. Uh, look, if he dies, let him die like a badass. Like, I'll be fine with that. I don't want him to go out as, like, no punk. Mm -hmm. It was so nice! You are not gonna get there in time! That's probably left is the upper half of his body.
Girl, she coming to kill you. Girl, she worse than Daenerys. Oh my god. Who oh, fuck? Yeah, she wishes literally like, mm -hmm, fuck them bells, fuck the people, you know you're just gonna die? This fucking that creepy ass smile, like oh god, that is so disgusting. I don't like him. I want him to go so bad, but because of the fact is, like, I mean, this dude been sitting on his behind for several kind of day episodes. He ain't there ish. I mean, he's done like some things, but still, I didn't want him to die. I thought he was gonna be okay. I thought he was gonna stay there. He wasn't gonna go after Alice, be brave as hell, and no. And then he's just like, <laughs> like, no, screw it. No, he's gonna die. Everybody's just gonna freaking die today. Between last week's episode of freaking Fate and this, you literally had <laughs> characters who I like so freaking much. You either kill them now or later on you kidnap them just for them to be a bad guy later on. And then no matter what, we still gotta freaking kill them. I don't like that. <laughs> like, oh my god. Because it hurts. It hurts so freaking much. Because it's like, damn, I like these characters so much. And then it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take this. It's just a real so freaking much. And then just parole them. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. But seriously, like. <laughs> freaking Alice was channeling her inner Daenerys in there. Like, I mean. I, I, once, you know, yes, your comrade, someone who calls you a mentor, just dies in front of you. Because, I mean, yes, I get the fact that he wanted her all to himself. I get that. And that he, you know, she should be able to be, like, almost the voice of everyone that other people need you. But she also needed him. And after that, yes, she saw red. She sees that nothing but blood. She was like, okay, you know what? You just killed someone who I really care about. Screw y'all. I'm gonna kill y'all, too. That's what you did. <laughs> In the last season of Game of Thrones, when that bell was up, I was like, hey, we surrender. Daenerys was like, <laughs> girl was like, no, you know what? Even though y'all surrendered, you still went against me. So, you know what? I'm just going to kill you all just to do that. That was Alice. <laughs> Alice was like, you know what? Mm, you know, we're supposed to kill you no matter what. You just killed someone who I really cared about. And you still want me to have you live? No! <laughs> fuck that and fuck you. Oh my god, but like, she went in. She was just like, damn, I can't. I can't. I was like, oh my god. I get it. I was like, let me not laugh because I want to laugh so bad. So freaking bad. Like, even what the freaking woman who was about to die, like, she didn't die because she, like, literally just freaking went. It took the hearts of her freaking people. Uh, like, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I mean, you already know you're gonna die. Like, what else are you gonna do? But, okay, just having the freaking... <sighs> the fucking hog, the pig, sacrifice themselves for this. Like, that was fucked up. I mean, yeah, out of the whole group, only one of them had a name. And typically, 
when you think about a horror movie or anything, if they ain't got no damn names, they fucking die no matter what. And I didn't want her to die. I was like, he could have got her out and just killed everybody else. Yes, he still would have had their blood on his hands, even someone who he really cared about, but still, that was just like, that hurt. I didn't like that either. That was just a really fucked up moment for this episode, but, I mean, there are a lot more. There are a hell of a lot of fucked up moments in this damn show where it makes me look a little, not cringeworthy, but it makes me be like, what the fuck is this? Why Why do we have characters who have to have the most creepy ass faces? And I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I can't. It makes me laugh, but then at the same time, I'm like, I can't take you seriously. Like, you just need to stop. But, okay. So, since Alice is now, you know, announced Priestess of Light and everything, and Vecta is there, I mean, I'm hoping that, like, next week, he finally gets off of his high horse, even though we technically did with this episode. He gets up, he actually fights, or he's gonna have the dude who also came with him, who I'm presuming, once again, is from Laughing Coffin, even though I don't know anything yet. But, one of them is gonna have to do something. I mean, there's barely, like, I don't know how many. Well, no, they still have the rest of the people. Uh, the people yeah, yeah. They, I don't even know how many people are left on their side. So, I mean, come on. You you got a backup plan, and you got a backup plan, and your backup plan. Just in place, Alice does something because you know Alice is gonna do something. And I'm not entirely sure what she might. I mean, hell, she might just go ahead and kill him. I mean, you know, hey, sacrifices are necessary. You know, we gotta kill the bad guy just to kill him. But yeah, we ain't gonna know until next Saturday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Sitter Online Alicization War of Underworld. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially on next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys. Thank you.